The K25 package and deployment application is installed on a K25 server by default. If you would like to install it locally on your own computer, you can install it by first getting the K2 Setup Manager installation program, run it, and then select the custom installation option in the K2 Setup Manager. Installation is beyond the scope of this video, however, if you are not already an administrator for your organization, you can work with your K2 administrator to get the K2 setup file. This installation process gives you the option to install the package and deployment component only. With an existing installation, to open the K2.5 package and deployment app on the server or from your workstation, you can find the app in your start menu under the K2 option or use Windows Search if necessary. Upon selecting it from the K2 Start menu group, the K2 Package and Deployment app will open up to where you can select the K2 server on the console root list. You may need to register a K2 server for this application using the New button across the top and provide the connection values to connect and then list the server in this list. With the DLX server instance selected on my screen, let's click the Create New Package link from the Actions pane over here on the right. Doing this will launch the Create Package window. Let's edit the name of the package to make it more meaningful here, and provide a description. Note this is optional though. Let's also make sure that the location is set to where we want the package file to be saved, and then click the Next button to navigate to the Add Items page. In this window, we want to select Smart Objects, Views, and Forms next, so we can click the Add Item button. The package and deployment application will connect to the K2 server and render a list of artifacts that can be packaged based on the category structure of this K2 environment. You can drill down into the category hierarchy and select the Smart Objects, Views, Forms, and Workflows that you want to include in your package. You can be selective here, or you can select a higher parent folder to grab everything within. I'll demonstrate with the leave request application. Before we move on, take notice of the type column for the list indicating what the artifacts are. If you select a view or smart object, you can see its properties in the properties data pane on the right. Actually, we have two things of note to talk about here. Notice the checkbox at the bottom of this window, which states automatically include dependent items as, with the options of included or referenced. If you're packaging this application up for another K2 environment, and let's say one of your views references a smart object that has lookup list data in it, such as regions or departments, that view has a dependency on that smart object, but it may not be in the list here. Your application needs that smart object to exist in the target environment you're deploying to, so you can either tell the package and deploy tool to include it physically and take it with the package, or make a reference to it because it already exists in the other environment. If you disable this checkbox, you will need to manually select dependency artifacts in the list above and tell K2 what to do with them individually. The other item to discuss is smart object data. The Package and Deploy tool can take existing data with SmartBox Smart Objects or just take the Smart Object definition over to the target environment. You can select a SmartBox Smart Object from the list, then on the right side of the window, inside the Data tab, put a check to include data if necessary. Be cautious when doing this as package files can get rather large depending on how much data you want to take. Also make a note that you can only include data if the smart object is a smart box smart object. Advanced smart objects do not allow for this capability. Once you've selected all the artifacts you need, you can click OK to add them to the package list and show the create package page with the selected artifacts. This may take a bit of time to bundle everything up at this stage, so I'll pause the video. Before finishing on this window, you will see the list showing each selected artifact with various properties and dependencies. You can choose to remove an artifact individually, you can remove any dependencies, or you can remove all the selections you've made if you need to start over. From here, you can click the Finish button to create and save the package. Then at this stage, you can locate your newly created package file and take it over to deploy in another K2 target environment. 